Phantoms are off to Coventry. They've won tonight by uh, a couple of goals. 5-3 tonight, 8-5 on aggregate. And I've got uh, goal scorers, uh, Will Weldon and Scott Robson. That's been two tough nights, Will. It is, but uh, that's what you expect when it comes to playoff hockey. It was a good good weekend to play in. It was a lot of fun and you know when you come out on the right end of a result it certainly feels a lot better. I'm sure the guys in their room are hurting. They, they put up a good fight. They were the better team last night in, in all honesty over the, the 60 minutes but I think tonight we, we came out strong and, and you know we, we felt comfortable um, with the position we got ourselves in. Smart start as well, an early power play goal from, from yourself just uh, in lots of space given the freedom of the City of Peterborough in the slot there. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a play that we we do look for, but it doesn't often open up. It's it's always there as an option, but it's not very often that that the space is there. So it was a good pass from from Jimmy after Paddy fed one to him on the back door, and I had an empty net, so I can't take a lot of credit for it. And uh, Scott, uh, I know we talk about it every time we interview you, but that's two in two games. Uh, looking good, really, for a run now to Coventry. Oh yeah, it's a nice feeling to get a couple in a weekend. I don't usually get do that, but uh, now nah, credit to the guys. I know uh, Taylor made a good play on the boards and uh, made that chance there, sort of thing. So I, it's credit to the guys. I think I think all the goals tonight we started from defense, from Marzi making saves and the guys working together and not giving up. He's had an awesome weekend, hasn't he, uh, Jordan? Unbelievable. Some of the saves he's made, especially in the last minute there, unbelievable. And uh, we, we talk about it an awful lot on these uh, on these interviews, on the post-game ones, uh, where we talk about the importance of special teams. Uh, I know scoring goals is really, really important, and we did score power play goals, but uh, penalty kills being immense and certainly late and deep in the game. Yeah, we do pride ourselves on, on special teams. It's obviously over the stretch of a season, there's ups and downs, um, but we've got guys that enjoy being out there on the penalty kill, and I think that shows... Um, there's probably more block shots this weekend than there has been in you know months during the season, and I think that just shows what happens when playoff hockey comes around. And momentum always important. They scored a goal maybe three minutes from the end of the second period. Uh, that that made it I think three two on the night. So they're within a goal. That you know and they're, they're sniffing at that and and thinking end of the second, get into the third, and we're we're on the front foot. And uh, Whitey gets a, a cracker actually. Yeah, it was uh, you know not. Norts decided to, to step on the red line and I joked with him as we were coming off the ice that it probably wasn't actually the, the best step because the, the guy very nearly put it past him and it would have been a two-on-one the other way but it's uh, the fine margins in sport and I think it, it shows that sometimes when, when you're brave and you know you, you back yourself, you're confident in yourself, that, that's what can come of it and Whitey, you know, he looked like a, an accomplished goal scorer. Um, the, the way he finished that, it was, you know, top draw. Moving on to next weekend, so uh, probably the surprise of, of the round in many ways is uh, the bees have, have beaten the Swinner Wildcats. The Swinner Wildcats have taken the league. They're the best. They were the best team in the league over the stretch of the season. Uh, so credit to the to, to the bees. They've done really, really well. And if they can do it to Swindon, they can do it to anybody else. But we must be looking forward to that fixture now, Scott. Yeah, it's going to be a battle. Um, whichever team won that game in the, over the weekend, um, it was going to be a battle either way for the 420 minutes. So we're excited to make it to Coventry make it to another final and another chance to win two trophies last question uh, Bees next weekend obviously they've, they've done the Swindon Wildcats and uh, our games against them have been pretty testy over the course of the season what are we looking forward to next weekend Will? more of the same I think it's uh, keep banging on about it. it's playoff hockey and the intensity is at a different level to, it, to what it is over the course of the season credit to Bracknell 120 minutes and, and they've come out on top against a very good Swindon team so that shows you know they're, they're obviously playing well so we certainly won't underestimate them and, and we'll look to get a trophy in the bag next weekend and then move on to, to Coventry. Not counting any chickens, games against the Bees then we're on off to Coventry, it's been a decent season hasn't it Scott? Yeah I think it's been a great year I think start to finish obviously we went through a little blip during the uh, Christmas period but to end on a high head into Coventry another chance for another trophy is what we play for. Thanks for joining us you two we'll see you next weekend.